My name is Luke. I'm a licensed professional engineer. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the School of PE review course to help you pass the PE exam. Now, the first time I took the PE exam, it was really difficult and I actually ended up failing. But I pulled out all the stops in the second time I took it and purchased the School of PE and I ended up passing. And in this review, I'm going to show you why I recommend it, some of the downsides of it, and go into the details of what it looks like online and how you can find more information about the School of PE review course yourself. So the first reason that I recommend it is the level of confidence that you are going to get the second time or the first time that you take the test with the School of PE. When I took the test the first time, I didn't feel that confident. I probably didn't do as well on many questions and didn't feel like I knew what I was doing on uh, enough of them that I was worried about whether or not I was going to pass at the end. And then I didn't end up passing. But once I took the school of PE, that feeling was completely different. I remember coming home after the test and telling my wife that the first session seemed so easy that I wondered if I had completely got everything wrong, but I knew that I didn't because I had studied so hard and I'd done so well. Um, it almost felt like I, I knew every single question. There was almost nothing that I didn't know. Um, the afternoon was still pretty difficult. It almost always is, but that's just how the PE exam goes. I was still way more prepared, way more confident in that afternoon session because of the school of PE. The second reason is that their pass rates are just amazing. Um, a lot of the time you get about a 90% pass rate um, if you take the School of PE review course. For second time test, uh, second time test takers, your review or your pass rate is about yeah, maybe 80% or so, at least for the structural. And it varies depending on each test, but it's definitely way higher than if you go without the school of PE. Um, the other reason is that their price is actually a lot better than the other options. There are definitely higher priced options and there are lower priced options. School of PE is a perfect combination of both because it gives you enough value for a medium price. So you're not spending too much money, um, but you also know that you're getting your money's worth here. Um, the other benefit there with the price is that they have a promise that if you don't pass, then you can repeat the school of PE. And that's pretty incredible. Um, the next one is that it's really just easy to use um, the online videos, printing the materials, all of it. it. I just felt like it was super, super easy to use the school of PE. Um, and then the last one was the bonuses. Those, those principles, those practice problems, there's a practice portal. They even have a new um, study hub where you can make your study plan and everything. And that's pretty powerful. I didn't actually have that. And I still did really well on the test. That's just another reason that they're going to be really, really good um, to help you pass the PE exam. Now, the downsides, there are a couple. And the first, obviously, like I've mentioned already, is the price. It's pretty expensive. The School of PE can run you around. For me, it cost about $1,300. Um, at the low end, that's, the, that's what you're going to pay for it. But they do have financing options that make it a lot more achievable to actually be able to pay that so you can pass the PE exam. Um, for some of the live online, classes or the in-person classes. It can be around $1,600 to $1,800 or even a little bit more than that. Um, but it can be worth it depending on what you want to do. But for me, the, the on-demand class was just fine. Um, the other reason is the other downside is that some of the instructors are not as clear in some of their lessons. Um, but I never, ever felt like I wasn't getting my money's worth or that I wasn't going to be confident that I would pass the PE exam. There's enough practice problems and enough notes that you can figure out what you're doing, even if there's sometimes where you're like, I'm not quite sure what this teacher is trying to tell me here. And I was confident enough on it and did well enough on it that I did end up passing the test. The other downside to it is that there's a practice problem portal. Um, that's not a downside, but the downside of that is that some of the questions are in metric actually. And I had already taken the PE. I knew that it was in Imperial units and I wish that there was just an option to just turn off metric questions. Um, that doesn't make it completely useless though. For one, I was able to just work those problems, but I actually had so many questions from just the regular re review materials and the lectures that I think I ended up working like 500 questions 
just from some of those review materials. And I was still well enough prepared that I didn't actually end up having to use those practice problems that much. Um, so those are some of the main pros and cons. And now we're gonna get into the actual website to show you some of the details of what it's like to purchase School of PE and go through it. All right, so now we're on the School of PE website and I just wanted to go over some of the reasons why I really like it. To access their PE review courses, you're gonna hover over this, go to PE, and then I, I chose civil, you can choose your discipline here. And then you see the different options for your breadth and depth. And this page just gives some general information. If you click on learn more, you can see there's a lot of information here. There's a lot of detail on this left panel. You can choose and select all sorts of different things that you want information on. This page just gives kind of a general overview of the features, the books, the course formats, the topics, and the everything. Um, it's really, really thorough. And again, you can see everything that you might want to know before you purchase. And that, that was an important thing for me. This is a really expensive product. I wanted to know all of this information I was going to get and whether it was going to be worth it. And this is this was the perfect page to go to. I think I spent a lot of time here before I actually purchased. I also had a friend that recommended it. He failed the first time and he recommended School of PE. He said that's how he passed actually. <laughs> so that's an, again, another reason uh, to buy it. So here you see some of these different features. Now there's different ways that you can take the School of PE course. You can do on demand, which is like streaming. You can just watch the videos as you need. There's live online. So where you're actually, it's like being in a Zoom meeting. I don't think they, they use Zoom, um, but you basically are there with the professor. You can ask questions and all sorts of things um, as they go through the study materials. And then there's on-site, that's an in-person one. Um, I just did the on-demand and it, I felt like it was perfect for what I personally needed. You can see more details about these if you click on this. So on-site schedule, on-demand course, uh, these are the schedules for the on-site and different options. You can select your state and see that. And then if you compare plans, then it gives you all the details. And I love this page. It gives you all the details of the price, the videos, and so on and so forth. The other cool thing is this right here, this on-demand preview. You can see how, uh, or you can get a feel for what it's like by actually getting a preview. And it gives you, I think, like five lectures or something. And then you can kind of see, okay, is this something that I want to do? Um, the five lectures makes it seem like, um, it, I, I think it undervalues how uh, valuable this is because it, it is, it's just so much. When I did it the first time, I think I actually did the on-demand preview for the first time I took the PE and I was like, oh yeah, this seems like it's okay, whatever. No, I, I really wish that I would have had an, a better idea of how good this was um, because it, it was just incredible. So that, that preview is just, it's only like five random lectures from the inside of the course. Um, and so, yeah, it might help you a little bit, but that's not going to actually help you study. That's more going to help you get to know the school of PE review course. Um, so then you can kind of see these, this personalized study plan. That's a really, really helpful thing. Um, you've got flashcards, you've got questions to the instructor, you've got just all sorts of different, um, resources to know about here, uh, with the different plans. And so, and then this is something important too. Their live online classes are regularly 1690, but they offer early registration discounts of up to $300. And so if we, uh, check this out, we can see the different fees here for the different options. Um, and you can look through that and decide which one you personally want to do. Um, there's testimonials here the pass rates, as I mentioned before, uh, you can see structural about 90%, 64%. Um, this is repeat test takers, um, but still significantly higher, almost doubles here. Uh, for repeat test takers. Um, and that's just for structural because I'm on the structural page. Um, and so, and then there's testimonials, free repeat. This is another really great thing. Um, if you don't pass, if you've taken school of PE and you don't pass after taking it, then you can retake the school of PE again. Um, and this just gives all of the details of that. I think that's that basically that alone kind of makes it worth it. It's like, you're going to get your PE license. Um, well, you're going to pass the test anyway, just because you pass the test doesn't mean you're licensed, by the way, you're going to pass the test. If you, if you get this course, um, and I can't promise anything for sure. Of course, obviously you have to put in the work and you have to study and that's not a 100% guarantee, but 
it, it, it's just so much easier with this. Um, then there's some just kind of random things here, free basic engineering math, calculator training, practice portal. That's what I mentioned before um, where some of the questions were in metric and you can get just the practice portal itself. I actually purchased the practice portal for um, PPI to pass and uh, that was pretty useful for a little bit, but it actually wasn't as good as this practice portal, even though this one had questions in metric. This one was actually better for the questions that were on the test, the type of questions I saw. PPI to pass was too difficult, to be honest. It was a lot harder than anything I ever saw on the test, which is like, okay, yeah, you're going to be prepared for just about anything, but you're going to waste so much time trying to solve their problems that it's just not really worth it from what I've experienced. And like I said, you can pass really easily with this, so might as well do this. Um, then you see flashcards about instructors, discussion forum. That's another cool thing. You can go online with others who are studying for the test, and there's a discussion of others who are taking School of PE, um, then risk-free enrollment, system requirements, tr questions to instructors. The other thing that I wanted to go here is if you click About Fee and then you click Register Now, the other great thing about this is these, this financing option. So if, it's kind of hard to see, but if you see this Learn More underneath a financing uh, or, or one of the... Uh, the price is here. You press this and then it takes you to this page where it gives you kind of a breakdown of, okay, if I'm going to do three month, six month or 12 month financing, this is the cost monthly. And that's the interest that you're going to pay. And then the total price that you're going to pay. And I love that they do that. That's, that's total interest over the whole loan that you're going to get. So if you're struggling to, okay, well, how am I going to justify $1,400 all at once? Okay. We'll just for $35, you can spread that out over three months or $62 over six months or, and so on. And again, like I said, check with your employer because you might actually be able to get a reimbursement if you pass the PE exam. So that's where some of the options are. And again, there's just so many reasons to love School of PE. I'm very, very happy that I purchased it. And uh, that's why I passed the test. This page is the dashboard once you log in. So you can see here the different courses that I have. Uh, here was the demo, and then here's the on-demand course. Um, I had the demo and the preview and the on-demand course. Um, and then you can see there I could submit repeat registration if I hadn't passed. Once I click on this, I can get into And again, you get all of this if you do that preview, and that's absolutely free. So uh, not all of this, all of this, but you can see this dashboard if you do that on-demand preview. Uh, I highly recommend that if you're considering purchasing School of PE. So when you get in here, on the left-hand side, you're gonna see you're down this, this uh, menu here to select the different options. And then on the top here, you have your dashboard you, that we just saw, your support, your account, and et cetera. So this side, you can access your download file. So this is the really, really cool part. You get like, and I have right here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven printed books. I think it's like 1,300 to 1,500 pages. It's just a ton of material that I got to take into the PE exam. Now, the PE is changing to computer-based and it is not going to be open book anymore. But for the October 2021 test, it will still be open book. So you can still print all of these if you decide to purchase right now. Um, and I'll make an update once the, they update how they do the school of PE once the PE exam is fully computer-based. Um, these download files were amazing. These are the files that you're going to use as you go through the lecture video. So it's it's basically like going to your college class. Your professor on the first day says, oh, I have my slides all on, um, you know, on whatever platform you use to download files for your college. And you download them and you print them and you take them to class and you take notes right there on their lecture slides or, or whatever. Um, that's what these are basically. And so you get uh, just a ton of information. There's uh, the breadth. So there's geotech, your structural, water, just everything you might need. And then there's just, and these are different. So there's fall, there's spring, there's fall, and then there's supplemental, which is calculate. I didn't use the calculator operations in basic math, didn't need them. Um, and then these are traffic um, problems and such. For each of these, you're going to get the notes and the workshop problems. And then you're going to get the solutions to the workshop problems. And some of these have the errors um, in there. So I just looked at that. And actually, I think I printed, um, I might have just exchanged the pages in a PDF editor and printed my workshop solutions and problems um, 
and so that I didn't have the errors in the, the my printed versions. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, there's just a lot there. Lecture videos, so that's gonna be kind of the meat of what you're gonna do here. There's 96 hours of lecture videos now. Um, when I took it, there was 84, so they're constantly getting better. They're constantly improving, and these guys know what they're talking about. They know the test well enough to be able to give you what you need to pass. I'm confident that because I've been doing this, uh, or I've I've done it, I've been through it. Um, so you're gonna see just the different lectures. Um, at the top here, you have the different um, times when they did it. So there's the fall 2019, spring 2019, etc. And so you can see here, um, this is when they had the class. So this is the fall 2019 class. And so you can see the structural and materials related topics. So this is, and I can press play here and I can go into the video. Um, it won't let me play because it does expire. And that's the other thing is, um, it's it's good for the period that you are studying for and taking the test and it expires once you've taken the test. But like I said, if you end up failing the test, you can come back and still get um, this again. And so, and then it has, uh, so it has your depth and your breadth. Uh, it, it basically has everything that you need here. Questions to instructors. I didn't really use this a whole lot, to be honest. I felt like they explained everything well enough. And even in, like I mentioned before, the cases where they might not have explained something super well, I was able to supplement with other materials and it, it was just fine. I really wasn't worried about it. And that didn't happen enough for me to be like, oh, I'm going to not pass the test because of it. It was just fine most of the time. Um, discussion forum. Again, didn't use that. You can work with others that are, you know, uh, taking the test. Uh, looks like they're not using that right now. Um, or that's probably because mine's expired because I've already passed the test. This was a while ago. And then there's your information on repeat registration if you need. Um, and then other information um, and so on. So there you have it. That's kind of the inside of the School of PE. This is what you get when you purchase School of PE. Um, and it's kind of, like I said, I can't just, I just can't do it justice with these download files and these lecture videos. They are incredibly helpful and they make you so much more confident that you are going to pass the PE exam. All right. So there you have it. That's my review of the school of PE and also some of the details of what it looks like online on the back end. And like I said, you can actually get in on your own and get a preview of what it's like to purchase the school of PE. I highly recommend you do purchase it, especially if you're like me and you failed the PE and you just have to pass. That's what it was for me. I just had to pass and I had to make that investment. And it ended up being one of the best decisions that I've ever made for my career. I'll add a link in the description below where you can go online and purchase the School of PE. It is an affiliate link. If you click on that link and purchase through the link, I get a commission for that at no extra cost to you. And really it's just a way for you to say thanks to me for writing this review and to support a fellow engineer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.